I said, hold on. Doug, let's be honest. This looks like a disaster. We're seeing these pictures right now at the airport. This hasn't been a popular war. What does this mean politically for the president? Saigon was an ugly moment, too, but Americans wanted that war to end as well. Well, this is going to this is Biden's boondoggle. He's done a lot of important and great things since he's been inaugurated. But this is a foreign policy disaster in the making. Wait a minute. And uh, it's going to have political ramifications. That unlikely phrase that you play uh, played about the Taliban just rushing in to, to Kabul is that's going to be played over and over again against him. It's his George W. Bush had his mission accomplished moment that was used against them. That quips going to be used because it showed he was dead wrong on a, a major foreign policy issue. And I'm not sure why he ever had to go there and say unlikely in that kind of way. I say, hold on. Question of how poorly this was done. The idea that President Biden ordered 2,500 service members out and now is sending up to 5,000 service members back in. Does that not on its face show that the ex that the exit was ineptly planned? And again, Look, you told me a few months ago on this program that you thought it was entirely likely that the Taliban would be taking over the country. But President Biden, just last month, quote, the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. He was wrong. Wait a minute. Jake, what we've done, what the president has done, is make sure that we were able to adjust to anything happening on the ground. Uh, and the fact that we said that he sent additional forces in, we had those forces at the ready, fully prepared to go in the event uh, that this moved in a direction where we needed forces in place to ensure that our personnel was safe and secure, uh, to ensure also that we could do everything possible to bring out of Afghanistan those Afghans most at risk. That's exactly what we're doing. Why didn't you uh, have the troops in there and then let that happen first before taking them out? I say, hold on. Again, I come back to what we were talking about a few minutes ago, which is that that status quo I, was not sustainable. Uh, like it or not, uh, there was an agreement that the forces would come out on May 1st. Had they not, had we not begun that process, which is what the president did, uh, and the Taliban saw, then we would have been back at war with the Taliban. And we would have been back uh, at war uh, with tens of thousands of troops having to go in because the 2,500 troops we had there and the air power would not have sufficed to deal with the situation, especially as we see, uh, alas, the hollowness of the, uh, the Afghan security forces. And by the way, from the perspective of our strategic competitors around the world, there's nothing they would like more than to see us in Afghanistan for another 5, 10, 20 years. It's simply not in the national interest. You keep changing the, the subject to whether or not we should be there forever, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about whether or not this exit was done properly. Wait a minute. Uh, taking out all the service members before those Americans and those uh, Afghan translators could get out. That's what I'm talking about. And then you have to send people back in. That shows, that's a definition of, oh, we shouldn't have taken those troops out because now we have to send twice as many back in. Wait a minute. Who are you?